Hey guys, it's Wayne at Protoget.net, and today I'm super excited because we're going to be discussing two of our best products, our disguised belt buckle knives. On the left here, we have our party trick disguised belt buckle knife, and on the right, we have our self-defense disguised belt buckle knife. So, the one on the right here, as you can see, is an engraved stainless steel folding knife with a liner lock button in the back here, so this doesn't fold unless you push the liner lock. But when you fold it away, it just slide into the front of the belt buckle just like that. This is a really sturdy hold. It's not gonna fall out if you jump or jog or anything like that. I've never had it come out accidentally. But when you want it, boom, slides out super easy. Uh, the knife actually is practical for everyday utility type cuts. If you need to cut packing material or tape or string or anything like that, it'll work just fine for that. Uh, but I wouldn't recommend it for self-defense purposes simply because it takes too long to deploy the knife. You first have to slide it out of the belt buckle and then you have to use the little thumb tab here to open it. And then you have your knife available. That's just a little too long in my opinion, particularly since it is a two-handed open for self-defense purposes. So it does make an excellent party trick. It is quite stylish. Uh, it is very high quality, but I wouldn't recommend it for self-defense. If you just want to impress your friends and look great though, and uh, open up your pocket space instead of putting a knife in your pocket, it'll certainly do the job for that. Uh, we've got a lot of different styles available for this belt buckle knife. Uh, different animals, a Texas star, and some playing cards, like a, a four of a kind, of ace of spades kind of thing. Uh, excellent designs, I recommend checking that one out. On the right here, we have a self-defense oriented belt buckle knife. So, as you can see, this one is a fixed blade knife, and it's got a three and a half inch blade. So, it'll do certainly do the job in a self-defense situation uh, you can stab with it, cut with it, it it'll, it'll do the job quite nicely. And with the uh, belt buckle handle, you do have quite a good grip, solid, solid hold on here. It's not coming out easily. This also deploys very easily, unlike the folding knife, which just so you can see, the way this thing attaches to the front of the, of the belt is right here, and it has the plastic sheath in the back to hold the blade. And then you have the hooks in the back right here that hold onto the plastic to keep the belt buckle uh, attached. It's a very firm hold. It's not gonna come out very easily, uh, but when you're wearing it around your waist, you just grab the front here and pull, and that's how you deploy the knife. So as you can see then, that would be a very fast deployment option. If you had to get it uh, quickly for a self-defense reason, or you needed to only use one hand, you can certainly do that. Uh, it's faster even for me than, than my tactical pen often. Uh, it's way faster than a traditional folding knife, particularly one that would require two hands. Uh, the, these, both these belts are great for either everyday wear or for more professional occasions. I've used both of them for each of those kinds of events. Uh, both are really fun with parties. Uh, your friends, I, get, I can pretty much guarantee you, unless I've seen this kind of product before, will not recognize that these are knives. Even this one, which seems a little more obvious. Uh, still, I've never had anyone notice that as being a knife. And the looks of, of shock on their faces are, are pretty great when you just pull the knife out and they're like, oh my gosh, where'd that come from? Uh, both of these will last a long time. This belt material is a faux leather that's very well constructed. And that belt material is a woven nylon very, very strong, will last a long time. Uh, yes, yeah, so I recommend checking these things out at protoget.net. You'll find the link in the description. Uh, stay safe, guys, and remember that you are your own first responder.